Hello everyone, it's Ed Thomason here with Impact Dog Crates. Um, today we are going to do a video for you guys on how to fly with your dog. This is probably one of the most common questions we get. Are your dog crates airline approved? What's the process of flying with your pet? We're going to try to cover it from A to Z. So this is going to be a little bit longer video than we normally do. Um, but if you have any um, questions at the end of this video, feel free to contact our sales support staff. They um, are experts in flying with dogs. I myself have been flying with my pets around the United States and in Europe um, for about 20 years going to dog shows. So I have a little bit of experience on, on how to do this. Um, so you decide you want to go somewhere, um, whether it's your pet or you're going to a dog show or you're competing with something with, with your dog. Uh, the first step you have to ask yourself is, does your airline approve taking a pet on board? Or excuse me, under the plane. Um, if it does, you can check on Delta's website, Alaska, American Airlines, uh, Lufthansa, KLM. They all have really detailed outline instructions on which breeds they take and um, what are the restrictions involved with them. So let's say you have a, a Labrador and you're um, flying to your national specialty um, back east. So the first thing you're going to do is book your air, your air travel for yourself. I always recommend if you're going to take your dog with you as checked baggage, you're going to want to call in and buy your airplane ticket. So you call in, you buy your airplane ticket at the same time, you say, I want to take my dog with me. Is there space for my dog? They're going to check with their cargo department. Usually the answer is yes, if you've purchased ahead of time. Um, you're going to want to tell them what size crate that you have. Um, we'll say it's a 400 size. Um, they're going to ask you a question that you may not know the answer to is what is the total weight of your dog in the crate? You can guess because they're going to weigh it when you check your dog. Um, but for this, for this time, we'll just say it's 90 pounds. Some airlines have restrictions. Others do not. So we've gotten our airplane ticket. We've gotten space for our dog Fido. Uh, the next step is we have to get a health certificate. Um, generally, health certificates are good for 10 days. So you want to get the health certificate as close as you can to before, before your airplane takes off. So I always recommend the day before. Um, so go to your vet the day before. You're going to want, need a little bit of important information when you go to the vet. They're going to ask you for an address to where you're traveling to. So you're going to want to make sure that you have your hotel address um, to put on the um, health certificate. So you've gotten your health certificate now. You're ready to travel. What's the next step? Hopefully your dog is used to being in a dog crate because it's going to be in there for six to eight hours. But there's some important things to know. Whenever I prepare for um, to, to fly with my dog, I have a few things I take. I love this product. We do not make this product here at Impact Dog Crates, but I recommend them all the time. This is a Nylovone. As you folks know who have had dogs for a long time, dogs need to express energy, whether they're on an airplane at home. I always, always, always put a Nylovone in the crate with the dog. They, can't choke on it. This breaks apart and it's easily digestible for the dog and it gives them a way to express energy. So put something in there. I put Nyla bones in there. The next step is a water pail. I use these two quart water pails. I literally took this out of a dog crate this morning at my house. But the important part is the night before I fly, I fill this up with water and I fill it up about halfway and I put it in my freezer and I let it freeze really important trick is to that is that if you freeze it and you put it in the crate the morning of um, you're heading to the airport what happens is, is as the dog is being loaded onto the plane the water is not moving around and getting your dog wet so usually what happens is about halfway through the flight it's completely defrosted and they have plenty of water but don't don't be alarmed the dog can still lick the ice and, and it melts as they're traveling and they still have plenty of water to hydrate themselves. But I always, always freeze about a half of this before. Um, another quick trick, if you have an impact dog crate, which we all hope you do, I hang it on the side here. If you look real closely, I understand this is a black dog crate, but if you look real closely, I have a zip tie across these air holes. If you put the zip tie around it, you can hang your water bucket directly from that. So that's cue number one. If you're flying with an airline that requires you to have two buckets, your second pail you just put on the opposite side. So put a zip tie around one of the air holes, clip it on, you're set to go. Next thing you have to ask yourself after you've gotten your Nyla bone, you got your water bucket set up is, what is it gonna be on the bottom of my dog crate? Um, it says it has to be leak proof and it has to be absorbent material. 
Here at Impact, for all of our crates, we offer a vinyl pad, and we also offer a very plush, nice bed. I try to put both of these into the dog crates. I want my dog to be as comfortable as it possibly can. So you've knocked out both of them. They're both leak proof, and this is absorbent. The nylon, the, um, the nylon one is not. Um, important, dogs have accidents, guys. They can get stressed out. Um, they can get uh, water spilled. Uh, you want to make sure whatever's in there on the bottom of that dog crate it absorbs it. So we have our beds, we have our water bucket, we have our health certificate, and we have a Nyla boat. If you're flying with a collapsible impact dog crate, this is really important, okay? I need you guys to really pay attention to this. It's important that you know that it is allowed if you have the IATA compliance, meaning it has the brackets, it has the door guard, it checks all the requirements to be on an airplane. But folks, don't put it up in front of the, uh, the gate agent. Gate agents don't have the education that we do on these products. So if you're going to fly with your um, collapsible dog crates, I do all the time, have it put together before you leave. Walk in with the crate, have confidence knowing that because you have all those brackets in there, it is technically a stationary dog crate put together with nuts and bolts as IATA asked you for, but don't do it in front of them because they're probably gonna turn you away. Um, but side note here, so we've got all those things done. We're going into the airport now. This is probably the trickiest, most stressful time of everything. Be prepared, have your dog crate ready, have your health certificate out, and understand that every airline is different, but they're gonna require you to fill out a little bit of paperwork on your pet. So when you walk up to the gate agent, I'm flying with my animal today, I'm flying to New York City. Uh, here's my health certificate. Um, what paperwork do you have for me? They're gonna hand you uh, paperwork to fill out. You're gonna fill out the uh, last time they were watered, the last time they were fed, the dog's name, your address, where you're going to, uh, emergency contact information. You're gonna fill all that out. Then you're gonna pay. It you know, ranges from $100 up to $500. So once you've done that, you've paid, you filled out the paperwork, the, the gate agent's gonna check the dog crate to make sure they meet the compliance. Have confidence if you're flying with an impact dog crate, they do. Um, I'm not gonna bore you guys with all the minute details, but that's what we get paid to do. They do meet IATA compliance. So your dog is now gonna be checked. If you're flying with one of our crates, and I keep saying that because I know other folks are gonna watch this video, I take a slip lead and I tie it to the top of one of our handles. So there's always a leash with the dog crate. I feel like this is really important. Um, you're going to have to take your dog out now at TSA so they can check the crate. So you're gonna wheel you over to TSA. You're gonna take your leash off. Do not, please don't leave a flat collar on your dog or any collars while flying. Um, but take your leash off, wrap it around your dog, pull your dog out. TSA is gonna check your dog crate out, make sure it's safe for everybody else. Once they do, you're gonna tell you, go ahead and put your dog back in. Put your dog back in. I always have a carabiner um, on our impact dog crates right here, just so there's two points of, um, of locking. Um, put your carabiner, close your door, you're gonna leave your dog now. And this is stressful for people who haven't done this. Um, if you're flying with Alaska Air, they give you um, tickets when you check in to your plane. Some airlines don't. But you leave your dog with TSA, you walk up to um, your gate, you get on your airplane, tell every person you pass, hi folks, I'm sitting in seat 21A, I have a dog on board. Hi folks, I'm in 21A, I have a dog on board. You wanna let everyone know this, so that way, they can tell you your dog's on board before that plane takes off. Uh, again, if you're with Alaska, um, they give you a tag and that tag gets given to you before the plane gets taken off. I wish all airlines did it. Um, they don't, but this is, it's, it's pretty reassuring to know. Um, so you're, you're, in the, you're in the air and, and your dog's on board. You get to, get to New York, you're at your national specialty with Fido, your Labrador, and you have to pick up your dog. Understand that your dog is probably going to be the first thing taken off the airplane but not the first thing you get. Luggage is usually flowing before the dogs get out of the excess baggage. So go down to baggage, find whatever carrier you fly with, look for excess baggage. That is where you're going to get your dog. So you've located excess baggage, they're gonna bring you your dog. Understand that airlines or different airports have different rules, but most of the time they don't want you taking your dog out and running around the airport. So what I do is, I grab my crate, I grab my dog, and I get myself outside as quick as I can so I can relieve my pet. Find an area that you can potty your dog. 
Um, that's really the process from A to Z on flying with your dogs. Um, if you have any questions in regards to IATA compliance, if um, impact dog crates is actually allowed on airplanes, please contact our sales support office. We, uh, we do this every day. We are experts in this field. Um, and we can help you and reassure any concerns you guys have. But most importantly, have fun with your dogs, feel safe in what you do, and hopefully this video helps you um, travel with your pets. Thank you so much.